Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Rob's World of Boxing. Let's get it. Alright. What the hell is my shit? I want to get into this uh fight night recap video. Um uh, the fights that happened over the weekend. Um uh, the fights took place July 2nd, 2022. The first fight I wanted to get into it took place in London, England, on ESPN Plus, it it was a twelve round contest at heavyweight. Um, it transpired at equal. It came on at two p.m. Eastern time. Two p.m. Eastern time again on July second. Well, Saturday, July second. This motherfucker got a hole in this son. Jesus, what the fuck? But uh. All right, let's jump into the main event. The undercard wasn't nothing to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about the main event on both of these fights, man. But, yo, let's jump into the main event. The main event was uh, between Joe Joyce and Christian Hammer. Joe Joyce, he was 13-0 with 12 KOs, 36 years of age. He's an orthodox-style fighter, stands at six foot six with an 80-inch reach. He's from London, England. Before this fight, his last fight was a six-round TKO win versus um, Carlos Tackham when Tackham was 39-2 and two with one draw, and that fight transpired July of 2021. A key opponent Joe Joyce have on his resume is um, Daniel Dubois. He beat Daniel Dubois when Daniel Dubois was 15-0, and 0, and that was in a very, very, well, that was a very impressive win, um, and that fight transpired November of 2020. Uh now the boss is supposed to be like uh you know the next great heavyweight man over there in the UK and you know Joe Joyce kind of put a stop to all that and uh you know broke the man face in the process I think he broke his eye socket or something. And Dubois just he didn't want no more. He kind of quit, man. I kind of lost some respect for Daniel Dubois that night, man. But um, nonetheless, yeah, Joe Joyce got it done. Uh, Joe Joyce, he's a 2016 Olympian for Great Britain. He finished with a silver medal in the uh, 2016 Olympia. I mean, 2016 Olympics. But, uh, shit, man, he's 36 years old. So, shit, man, 2016, what's that? What, six years ago? That nigga was 30 years old in the Olympics? It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, man, it is what it is. I mean, shit, you got the medal. You got the medal. No matter how old you is, AJ, nothing but a number, man. And Joe Joyce, you know what I'm saying, making it. You know, proving me right with that, uh, you know, uh, old school phrase. I just, you know, reiterate it. <sighs> All right, let's get to his opponent. Um, it was Christian Hammer. Christian Hammer was 27 and 9 with 17 KOs, 34 years of age. He was ortho well, he's an Orthodox style fighter, stands at six foot two and a half with a 78 inch reach from Romania, but he's living in Germany. His last fight before this fight was a first round TKO win um versus a fighter who yeah, it's on the screen. Um but he was twenty-two and thirty-four. Uh, yeah, cab driver, tomato can to say the least. Uh, a key opposition Christian Hammer has on his resume, well, he has a lot of key opposition, so, I, you know, I just kind of threw it all in there, all his losses. He lost to uh, Tyson Fury, Alexander Pervakin, Luis Ortiz. Well, not all his losses, the key losses, because he lost to some bums, too. But uh, nonetheless, man, he lost to some champions. He's been in there with some champions. So um, this is a good barometer fight for Joe Joyce, man, if you ask me. I feel like, um, well, shit, the fight already happened. I'm used to my pre-fight videos, man. It was a good barometer fight, but um, Joe Joyce, yeah, I felt like Joe Joyce was going to get the job done fairly easily, which he did, man. Uh, Joe Joyce ended up stopping Christian Hammer. I think, uh, shit, was it the fourth round? He had dropped him in the third round, at the end of the third round, with a body shot. Um, no, he dropped him. With a hook behind the head, that's what it was in the third round. And Christian Hammer complained like it was behind the head. You know what I'm saying? It was behind the head, I ain't gonna lie. But, in a, you know, he dropped him at the end of the third round. The fourth round, he came out, you know what I'm saying? Protecting his head, got hit in the body. End of fight, it's over. Ref stopped it, you know. Um, scoring a fourth round TKO for your winner, Joe Joyce. 
uh, throwing his name and well, his name already been in the hat, you know, a heavyweight, you know, for those belts, man. I feel like Joe Joyce, man, he up there with the top, you know, the elite heavyweights. I'm gonna do a top five heavyweight, you know, top five heavyweights in boxing, um, coming up. So I already did one in the past, but um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna do another one. And um, Joe Joyce, he's for sure gonna be on that top five. Um, I feel like um, after this Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk fight, you know, whoever win that fight need to come see Joe, well, no, Joe Joyce need to go see them because they're the champ. But yeah, man, Joe Joyce need to go see those guys and uh, move his career along, man. He's like, as I said, he's 36 years old. He's not getting no younger, man. So now is the time, man. It's now and never. But yo, nonetheless, man, good shit for Joe. Good shit from Joe Joyce, man. Um, I already knew he was going to get the job done versus Christian Hammer, man. Like I said, I want to start seeing him in there with nothing but elite oppositions, man. If he can't get if he can't get the Alexander Usyk and the Anthony Joshua's, man, I don't know if Deontay Wilder indeed retired, you know, if he, you know. So I want to see him in there with Wilder. I want to see him in there with, uh, man, a lot of people, bro. Motherfucking uh, Andy, Andy Ruiz, motherfucking uh, King Kong. You know, uh, Luis Ortiz. I want to see him in there with, you know, the upper echelon. I don't want to see him in no more, no more Christian Hammers. But, yo, all right, let's get to the next card I want to talk about. The next fight I want to talk about, the undercard was pulled. So, like I said, I was going to talk about the main event, man. This fight was also Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. Um, this fight was in Queensland, Australia. It also was on ESPN Plus, though. But this fight came on at 5 a.m. Eastern time. Five in the fucking morning. I don't know who the hell getting up at five in the morning to watch a fight, you know, but, it, you know, that's how I play it out, man. It was a title fight for the IBF Cruiserweight belt. Uh, yeah, it was a 12-round contest, 12-round contest. Cruiserweight is anything from 175 to 200 pounds, if you didn't know. All right, Marius B Bridges versus Jay. Apatia. Marriage Breeders was 28 and 1 with 20, 20 KOs, 37 years of age. He's an Orthodox style fighter, stands at 6 foot 1 with a 75 inch reach from Lativia. Um, his last fight was a third round TKO win versus Arthur Mann when Mann was 17 and 1. That fight transpired October of 2021. And uh, as I stated, a key opposition, uh, well, I didn't state this, but a key opposition. Maris Beegers has on his record. His only loss was from Alexander Usyk. And that's nothing to be ashamed of when Usyk was 13-0. Um, and, uh, and that fight transpired January of 2018. Usyk scored a majority decision win versus Maris Beegers. Yeah, man, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Alexander Usyk, he's a motherfucking, um, he's on the verge of being an uh, undisputed champion at heavyweight, which I feel he will pull off when he... Uh, rematch Anthony Joshua. Well, I don't know. That, that, that's a false statement. He's not on the verge of that. He's on the verge of being undisputed, you know, having three belts, beating Anthony Joshua. I feel like he will beat Anthony Joshua after he beat Anthony Joshua. Um, if he fights Tyson Fury, I don't know if Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury give up that belt if he retired, man. If you retire, give up the belt, you know. If not, fight um, Music. So one of you guys could be undisputed. You know, whoever win that fight, go fight Joe Joyce. Because Joe Joyce, man, he needed, man. Or shit, Joe Joyce can fight uh, Anthony Joshua. Because I know Anthony Joshua probably going to lose that Usyk fight. But, yeah, let's get back in this fight. But, uh, yeah, man. So, Marriage Breeders' key opposition was a loss to Alexander Usyk. And that's some, uh, you know, that's something to be proud about. Not proud about, but, you know, that's a nice experience. All right. His opponent, Jay Opatia. Jay Opatia was 21 and 0 with 17 KOs, 27 years of age. He's a South Poist and a six foot three with a 76 inch reaches from Sydney, Australia. His last fight was a third round TKO win versus Daniel Russell, who was seven two and two. Yeah, um, that fight transpired December 4th of 2021, my birthday last year. Um, Jay Opatia, he has no key opposition as a, when you know before this fight. Um, I'll say now his key opposition is Marius Breeders. And uh yeah, man. It was a hell of a fight. 
Uh, fucking, uh, I felt like Breegis was gonna get Jay Opatia out of there earlier. I had never heard of Opatia. Opatia last fight was against a guy who was 7 2 and 2. So I was like, yeah, Merge Breegis, man, he, I done seen him, you know, you done beat your Neil Dordekis, who put motherfucking, um, uh, my guy to sleep in front of all them people. What's my guy name? Don't he ain't false. Oh, Andrew Tabidi. Put Andrew Tabidi in. He, he made easy work. With, um, door to kiss. Um, he didn't know how he didn't been in there with the upper echelon of cruiserweight. So I felt like it was going to be an easy fight for marriage breeders. And it was not, man. It was a back and forth contest, the whole fight. Um, you know, each fighter get having his moments, but I feel like, uh, Jay Opatia won the fight, and the judges felt the same way, scoring a, um, I'm not sure what it was, I'm not even gonna lie, but it was a win, I'm not, you know, the cards, the unanimous majority, but I know it was a win for your boy Jay Opatia, man, upset, upsetting, um, marriage breaches like fuck, that shit was, man, oh man, big upset, he done threw a wrench in a lot of people's plans, man, that cruiserweight, um, cruiserweight is wide open, though. And Jay Opatia, he's an undefeated fighter. He now advances to 22-0 with 17 KOs, and he's only 27 years of age after beating Marish Breeders, man, in an upset, man. Uh, Jay Opatia, he's from Sydney, Australia. We don't have too many fighters from Sydney, Australia, so he's going to, you know, make waves over there. You've seen how uh, George Cambosos just, you know, went back home and sold it out, man. So if Jay Opatia can continue his winning ways, you know, he might be a cash cow, and he might be a um, a player, well, he is a player at Cruiserweight, he's a champ, man, but he might be a, uh, you know, a money maker at Cruiserweight, yeah, but yeah, man, nonetheless, man, great showing from Jay Opatia, man, great showing from um, Joe Joyce, man, and, you know, good shit from both of the, um, you know, guys who didn't win a fight as well, man. But, uh, yeah, man, it was a light night of boxing, you know, sorry, I, you know, threw the video out here so late, I had to put my pre-fight video with my recap video, I just know I said in the video, this, I mean, in the beginning, this is a, uh, you know, pre-fight, but nah, this is a pre-fight and a recap, man, you know, it was 4th of July, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, it was going up, and I was with it, going up, so, uh, yeah, man, the video a little late, man, but nonetheless, man, that motherfucker here, better late than never, you know, uh, but yeah, man, like, Comment, subscribe, all that shit, people. Rob's World of Boxing. Yeah.